Of, of baking pumpkins? Or uh, of, yeah. of making the pumpkins. Well, let's see. Uh, there are a couple of different things that are important about making pumpkins that are, are tougher. I think where the, for me, what makes a good pumpkin is the stem. It's fairly easy to get a shape that works for most people but being able to create a stem that looks good aesthetically and is functionally strong enough is I think the toughest thing for people to, when they've been doing them a lot over the years, that's how they get, the, the, that's the, the trick of watching somebody. That's done one pumpkin, 10 pumpkins, 100 pumpkins, and 5,000. Once you get to that level of doing 5,000 or 10,000 of anything, you develop a style. How many I'm clearly in the 15 to 20,000 yeah, over the years, and that's that's probably on the low end. But have you ever hurt in the five Have you ever been hurt? Doing a pumpkin? No, not really. Doing other stuff? Well, uh, yes, in some respects, um, where where accidents happen. First of all, just like in the kitchen. You rarely ever get burnt by the food. It's the pans, it's the metal that gets you, right? That's the thing that you get, you burn yourself on. In the glass studio, it's the same. It's the tool that ends up touching back like this or the pipe that's too hot that you go to grab. Those are the things that you get burnt on. I've only had one serious burn and that was because my bench was so much lower it was down here like this, and I made one little wrong move like that, and I hit my knee, and that burnt me back. <laughs> Which is why all of my students wear gloves. I have watched my gloves smoke too many times to, not, to, to trust people that they are not going to make a mistake. So everybody wears gloves, even though I don't. I know where that hot zone is instinctually. I know where that is. So I, I'm very, very rare to ever get burnt on my hands. Students, another story. It's very, very easy for them to put their right hand up like this and to roll. And that's a, a real no-no. It's too, That whole area, that first 12 inches, is very, very hot. What, so they, they, uh, they obviously they signed forms before they start this. They, is that, how, how does that work? If, if that's if that's I mean, between you and me, no, no, no we try okay. we tried that, no, okay. we, we tried it, yeah. Um, but in reality, what I've found that the the best measure is the preventable measure. It's it's making sure that they can't do anything stupid. <laughs> I mean, anything that's going to cause them problems. And again, because I've seen too many people, uh, too many leather gloves start to smoke, I realize. I can't do this job, I can't show people without that level of protection. It makes it more difficult for them to work, but it's it'd be even more difficult for them to work the week after they take a class if they burnt me. So, <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's clearly a trade-off, but you don't have to use that. That's, you know, in fact, I almost prefer it. Nobody likes to hear about the negatives or the downsides to that kind of stuff, so.